Celine Dion was groomed by her own husband. She was just 12 years old when a nearly 40-year-old man entered her life. He was supposed to be her manager, but their relationship crossed boundaries. When Celine's mother found out, she tried to stop it. But at this point, this man had Celine under his spell. So let's get into it. I want to talk to you guys about Celine Dion and the disturbing story of how she was groomed at the age of 12. And of course, it's a classic Hollywood story because her manager was the one who took advantage of her and successfully did so to the point where he ended up becoming her husband. Before we talk about Celine's late husband, Renee, I want to remind you guys of what grooming is. Grooming is defined as the action by by a criminal of preparing a child for meeting with the intention of committing a sexual offense. We've talked about grooming before on this channel and in different situations, and there seems to be a theme in Hollywood behind the scenes or with executives or producers or managers where they end up taking advantage of their talent. Her husband's name was Renee, and he was a Canadian musical producer, talent manager, and singer. He's definitely best known as his role as Celine's manager and her long-term husband, who ended up entering her life at a very early age. They ultimately met when she was 12 years old and he was 38. And Celine, who now has children, recognizes that if her son was in a similar situation, she would not be okay with it. Quote, if I reversed roles and my son came home with a lady who had has kids and she's 45 and she thinks she knows best, I'd be like, take your hand off my son. So if her young son was approached by a woman who's clearly an adult, she wouldn't be okay with it, but she personally was approached in this way. Renee's actually the person who kickstarted Celine's career because he was discovered by her when Celine's brother decided to tape her singing and send it to Renee because he saw his name somewhere and saw that he was in the music industry and wanted to share Celine's talent. What's creepy about Renee is that he was immediately in love with Celine after seeing her. He was quoted saying, at that time, I had been in the business for 20 years. In those 20 years, I had never heard or had a feeling come out of someone like this little girl had in front of me. I had shivers all over, you know? And you know what, Renee? I'm not sure if I do know because I can't imagine a 38-year-old being so infatuated with a 12-year-old. Try to keep in mind that this man was married at this point. He had a family of his own with a wife, they purchased a house together, and he decided to mortgage his house in 1981 in order to pay for Celine's first album. I could not imagine if my husband put our house at risk for a 12-year-old's music career. Ultimately, it paid off, but like that seemed odd in my opinion. Like, it seemed like he was pretty much erasing his entire life for this little girl. And of course, Celine's mother did not approve of the relationship because of the huge age difference and because Renee has a history with divorce. I mean, he was married to his first wife and then uh, six years after that, he filed for divorce. Then two years later, he marries this woman named Anne and then they ended up being married for 12 years until they divorced. And and then he moved on with Celine, which is what her mother wanted to avoid because clearly this man like has lived his life and has like a history and she, Celine, deserves to create her own history without him controlling her from a young age, which is kind of what grooming is. But honestly, it seemed like Celine was too far gone because she was in love with Renee and ultimately her mother couldn't do anything. In 2013, Celine was quoted saying, when I told her I had some really strong feelings for Renee, she tried everything to 
kill him and make me snap out of it. I was very frustrated and mad at first, but she tried to make me understand that this man tried marriage twice before. He has three children and he's not responsible. She said, you're my daughter, you're my baby, and I want the perfect Prince Charming for you. So her mother was against this relationship for good reason, right? I mean, like anyone nowadays would agree with her mother. And even Celine agrees with her mother because she recognizes that the 26 year age gap is a bit excessive. And if her son did the same, she would be against it. So it's all pretty hypocritical. Actually, as I was doing my research, I found this film called Aline. And it came out in 2020, and it's clearly about Celine Dion and her relationship with Renee. Supposedly, Celine had nothing to do with this movie, which is just insane to me because it's clearly about her life. But it makes sense because she probably doesn't want to acknowledge, like, how bad it was for Renee to pursue her at such a young age. Here's a clip from that trailer, and you guys will see that Celine's mother in the movie was against the relationship. Tu guéris? Je suis pas malade, maman. Je tombe en amour, puis je suis sûr que lui c'est pareil. Vous avez pas compris que pour ma petite princesse, c'est un prince qu'il lui faut. Pas un vieux pruno bronzé qui a trois fois son poids, deux fois et demi son âge et qui est deux fois divorcé. Une. That movie sheds a lot of light on Celine's relationship with Renee, but back in 1987, they decided to make their relationship public, and this was supposedly after about a year of them dating in secrecy. Celine told CBS News that Renee was the only man she ever kissed, and that he was not just her partner, but they were one, the only man that she loved. Loved, which sounds really romantic if it was legal. And I mean, it was technically legal after he had been grooming her for six years. I found one article that claims that as soon as Celine turned 18, they started dating in secret. And then they waited until she was about 20 years old to make everything public. The couple were engaged in 1991, and Celine actually announced this engagement on The Tonight Show with Jay Lynn. So this was something that she wasn't hiding and that was happening in front of everyone's eyes. So I'm curious to why people didn't like put this together back then that this relationship's a little bit off. You have other news? Yes. I always have new news. Ah, this is a big news. And this is a big ring too. Oh, let me see. You got engaged. Look at that. Wow. Boy, that's a... Uh... You know, those home shopping people do wonderful stuff. You can't even... That is, you know... This is kind of my own follow spot, just in case the lights are not working. But no, no, no really, I'm joking, but this is... I am very proud oh, yes? of this. I, I'm just very much in love, and I was engaged recently with my manager, Renee. Yeah. The couple ended up getting married a couple years later in 1994, and they had a very lavish wedding. So they had a beautiful wedding, and it was very public. They ended up having three kids together, but at the beginning of their relationship, they did struggle to get pregnant, but ultimately she was successful in having three children. Renee is no longer with us, but he started having health issues back in 1992. His illness started out as a Lump on his neck and that began his battle with throat cancer which I guess he was a smoker and they attribute his throat cancer to him smoking. Celine's husband ended up becoming cancer free for two years after intense treatment but it's been a struggle he's had for a long time. Celine ended up stepping away for two years while her husband was sick so she stopped doing press, stopped doing performances and dedicated all of her time to being with him. Unfortunately, Renee died on January 14th, 2016 of throat cancer only two days before his 74th birthday. So he passes away and then two days later, it's his 74th birthday and Celine's brother ends up passing away due to brain, throat, and tongue cancer. So her husband just died of throat cancer and then two days later on her husband's 74th birthday, her brother dies of brain, throat, and tongue cancer. So that's a lot of loss in a short amount of time. And she said to the press that 
My husband came and got my brother because my brother was too weak to fly on his own. On the night before her husband, Renee, passed away, she told him, you were worrying for everything. It's enough. The kids are fine. I'm fine. I promise you we're going to be okay. Please leave in peace. I don't want you to worry. So, I mean, that's <laughs> really sad to talk about. I mean, and thinking that her brother died like two days later like i can't imagine how low she felt in this moment so renee was the only man that celine was ever with and probably the only man that she will ever love and it's unfortunate that it had happened the way that it did because a 12 year old should not be having a fling with her manager or become so close with her manager that she like turns on her mother and starts dating him in secrecy it just sounds really toxic and very classic hollywood but there's something i need to mention as i was doing my research i found that celine has a new children's clothing line called celine new no, no, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but the ad itself is just very bizarre and um, it's giving like kind of like Illuminati vibes. Let's briefly go ahead and react to the trailer for this kid's clothing line. Oh! It's okay, it's okay. I'm Celine Dion. Our children, they are not really our children, as we are all just links in a never-ending chain that is life. For us, they are everything. But in reality, we are only a fraction of their universe. We miss the past. They dream of tomorrow. We may thrust them forward into the future, but the course will always be theirs to choose. The shirt on that child says New Order, which is like a, a common Illuminati thing. Like I'm not trying to push a narrative, but like that's a little freaky. I can't believe they call security. I mean, oh, come on, I'm Celine Dion. <laughs> I'm not spending the night in jail. Holy shit. Oh. Guys, relax, easy. I'm Celine Dion. Yeah, girl, and I'm Beyonce. I'm calling my agent. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was supposed to be funny, but it's pretty cringe. I don't know if I would put my baby in Celine Dion's like baby clothing line. Something just seems a little bit weird there. And like, why is she making this anyways? It doesn't necessarily make sense with her brand. But as far as Celine's relationship with Renee, if this was going on nowadays, I mean, there would be problems. Could you imagine if Olivia Rodrigo was dating a 46 year old man? I mean, people would have problems with it, but I really don't know how Celine's relationship with Renee just kind of like flown under the radar. Nonetheless, this story is a classic Hollywood grooming situation and people need to be mindful when they're in the industry because important, powerful people will try to use their powers to take advantage of you or to pressure you or to brainwash you because personally i feel like celine was brainwashed but i want to hear what you guys think in the comments below here's my email if you have any other video ideas for me and i'll see you guys in a new one soon bye guys <laughs>